Simone Benedetti, one of the um, uh, science and sport embedded nutritionists with the Ineos Grenadiers cycling team. For the evening before the TT stage, in terms of nutrition, needs to think about uh, the type of stage that is, is going to be. So the TT stage is where they produce high power outputs, which means uh, using high amounts of carbohydrates. So a key performance priorities will be on the evening before um, loading the, uh, the carbohydrate stores uh, in the body. So whatever goes into the menu uh, then is discussed with the chef. So we sit down, we go through it together to make sure that uh, whatever is in the plan then is well executed when we are in, uh, in race. So yeah, we plan individually, each nutritionist will plan individually for day riders. The, uh, the exact amount of carbohydrates they, they have to ingest. So today um, on the TT, uh, the guys wake up, um, yeah, they will make sure they are well hydrated um, and uh, the breakfast will be a key uh, factor today. So clearly they uh, will ingest uh, a, an, an, an optimal amount of carbohydrates, making sure they can, uh, um, uh, let, let's say, fill up the carbohydrate storages uh, before the TT. Um, after the breakfast also they will have a, a free race uh, meal. Again there will be a great emphasis uh, on carbohydrates in that meal uh, but I would say also an important factor will be the timing. So this meal is normally consumed uh, four hours before the TT just to allow enough time for the digestion. Approaching the TT also, there will be other opportunities for them to keep ingesting some carbohydrates, uh, especially for those guys that will have the TT later in the afternoon. So that would be in the afternoon, they might have uh, an SIS gel or SIS chew, or it could be like a rice crispy, it depends also about their preferences. Let's say they close the day uh, 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 to the event and they, they need a simpler form of carbohydrate, so in that case it would be a gel or a chew. The warm-up generally starts uh, 30, 40 minutes before the TT and that is, uh, let's say, um, the last opportunity or one of the last opportunities for them to ingest some carbohydrates. Also, 40 minutes before the TT is the optimal time uh, also for taking uh, a caffeine gel or some caffeine. And then um, in this case, we use an SIS product, uh, Nootropics, uh, which provides both carbohydrates and caffeine particularly uh, Nootropics provide 40 grams of carbohydrates and uh, an addition of uh, 200 milligrams of caffeine. In addition to that, another key performance factor will be hydration so, and, um, and, and uh, keep the body temperature um, down, especially like in a day like today, it's going to be quite warm. So they will drink fluids uh, mixed with the electrolytes also and then we use also another product from Science in Sport, which is Hydro Plus, which provides an optimal combination of sodium and all the other uh, electrolytes. So as soon as they, they cross the, li the finish line, uh, the two uh, performance priorities are rehydration and the replenishing the carbohydrate storages. So they uh, drink uh, a carbohydrate-based juice, which is, pr uh, which is provided also by Science in Sport, and that is the first thing they do. And they will also consume um, a protein shake with the carbohydrates and uh, protein. We use a science sport product, a better recovery, which provides um, 30 grams of protein and the 60 grams of carbohydrates. Alongside the, uh, the protein shake, they also have a, a, a Rigo cherry gel which is a gel which, uh, which also have um, carbohydrates, but also a cherry juice, which is important to reduce the inflammation post-stage, but also to aid the muscle, uh, to reduce the muscle soreness. So also following this, the, the guys will have also a solid food that can be either rice or pasta to still replenish in the carbohydrate storages but also uh, a, a little source of protein, which could be fish or, or chicken. And um, once they go back to the hotel, um, they ha will have dinner uh, into the kitchen truck, uh, where they will have their dinner. So that it depends really about um, the stage the day after. So clearly, if it's going to be a hard stage, like a mountain stage, there will be still a great emphasis on carbohydrates, while if it's going to be like a plus stage, uh, that will be 
uh, still carbohydrates, but they, there will be also more space on the table for, uh, for more vegetables, for example.